I'm Matt Evers, a professional skater and lover of winter sports. Now the highlight for anyone passionate about winter sports has to be the Winter Olympics. It is a 17-day, action-packed, adrenaline-fueled competition. But you don't have to be an Olympic hopeful to get a taste for the ice and snow. Where can you witness flying chicken salads, UFOs, and rusty trombones? No, it's not a joke. It's actually one of the high octane events of the Winter Games, snowboarding. And here at Val Thorens, high up in the French Alps, is where the professionals come to train. There are five snowboarding events in the Winter Olympics, slalom and giant slalom, cross, and the two freestyle competitions, half pipe and slope style. These are the ones where you'll find board grabs and spins with crazy names. There may be at times a little friction between traditional skiers and the more rock and roll snowboarder, but the two do have common links. The first snowboard was built by fusing two skis, and modern freestyle skiers were inspired by snowboarders' tricks. But the sport owes more to surfing and skateboarding than perhaps skiing. Snowboarders simply adapted the tricks to the snow. Inevitably, this meant constructing obstacles on the mountain to jump, slide, or skim over. Needless to say, this didn't go down well with skiers, and soon specialist snow parks were built to keep the trick borders away from the main trails. This paved the way for the development of a new generation of pro winter sports. A key skill in snowboarding is the ability to ride switch when a boarder changes which foot is forward. To help, they use a curved tailboard to make smoother transitions. This is essential in the half pipe when competitors try to get maximum height, or air, to perform extreme stunts. The more audacious the trick, the higher the chances of getting an Olympic gold. It's very, very spectacular. You, on the TV, it seems quite flat, but when you're in the pipe, it's huge. You, you watch the, just the, the wall there, maybe six meters higher than you, so it's huge. You've got also a smaller board than this, but soft bindings. And no timing, of course. The thing is to go high, and of course the style. Then slope style is set to push the boundaries even further. Snowboarding that's off-piece through powder is where riders have the most fun. Slope style is the new Olympic event which aims to recreate off-piece challenges with obstacles and jumps. Slope style it's like freestyle, so you've got a shorter board like this around, same bindings, soft boots and it's a little bit softer. And then you have bumps, different kind of bumps and rails and all over the slope, so it's quite long, and you have just to play with all the bumps and the, the little rail and, and try to, to make the big tricks. In slope style, there is no, no timing. It's just the judge at the end of the, of the slope that will give you a note with the, the air you're going to take, with the tricks you will have to do, you will have done. The, if you put a hand in the snow, that's a bad thing, and they will just judge technical things. New tricks or old tricks, snowboarders continue to set a benchmark on developing new techniques, and long may it continue.